hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video tutorial I will explain in Django web application how to fetch records from the database dbsqlite3 into a drop down list control and here we got the output page notice the green red blue and red these are the four objects now let's insert I'll go back now I want to insert green color click insert notice the selected color green is saved successfully now if we check in our database right now we have four objects now I'm reloading the browser here we got the fifth object the fifth object is green which we have just inserted green color now let's forward slash show enter and here we got the and here we got the new latest color green was added successfully now i want to get the ids also in the same uh, select option for that i'll switch to show dot html page between double curly brackets here result dot id the id is the auto generate column so let's see now we'll get the id of this color names also now let's fill up the browser let's check see here we got the id is one two three four five and the color names green red blue red green that's it if you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before continuing this tutorial, I strongly recommend please watch my previous video. In my previous video, I have shown how to insert the selected drop down value into dbsqlite 3 database. So this is the output to insert the record. Now I am selecting red and I click insert. See here we got a message the selected color red is saved successfully. If you check the database SQLite 3, when I reload this Django administration, right now we've got four objects. This object 4 we just inserted successfully into this table insert DDL. So if you don't know how to insert records into database from drop-down list control. I will get this video tutorial link. Now let's continue the today's tutorial. I want to fetch these four objects into a drop down list control from this database. So switch back to the coding part. Now let's add a new HTML page. I click the templates folder. Select new file. I'm adding index.show.html. Let's do the show.html. And here we got our show.html page. Doc type. I'm closing the HTML tab. Now inside the HTML, I'm adding the header section. In the header section, I'm adding the title tag. Display records from database database into drop down list ddl now after the header section i'm adding the body tag now after the header section i'm adding the body tag we will give a body tag inside this body i'm adding the center tag the center tag I'm adding h2 tag headers how to um, how to fetch records from uh, from database from database Django web tutorials after the headings, I'm adding horizontal line. Now, after the horizontal line, I'm adding a simple select element, which is the 
drop down list control select an option now here the option i'm adding the default label colors and the option here selected disable is equals to true now the second option I want to bind the records, the objects from this table database. So for that we require the coding part. Open views.py. In the views.py, let's add a new function name diff back show uh, objects obj request colon. Now this function returns return render request show.html. I want to request to render this show.html page and this page contains to display all our uh, the objects into this select option element. Now the third parameter in the render, let's add the object, uh, display colors is an object name is equals to the objects we are getting from the insert DDL, which is our the class name from the model, this class name. Let's add that one dot objects dot all method now here to display these objects into this show.html page i'm adding the dictionary between curly braces double quotes here the dictionary the key is the our class name insert ddl colon and the values we are getting from this object display colors that's it let's save this file and uh, save all one second i'm telling if you are fresher or the beginners to learn django web applications i strongly recommend please watch my previous video in that video i have shown how to configure the admin page the settings the template settings how to install our application everything i have explained clearly in my previous video and that video link you'll get at the end of this video tutorial so now uh, on the views we have written the code to display the records from the database from this insert ddl object now we need to configure the urls pattern open urls Let's add the path between single quotes. I'm adding show is my web page name views dot. This is views dot. I'm adding my function name. My function name is show object. Copy that one and paste here and make sure give come here otherwise you'll get an error here i'm adding comma name is equals to where the name is equals to we have to add our function name show object let's save this file save all now the final step open show.html let's bind the data so here uh, in the option between curly brackets percentage percentage i'm adding for loop for uh, result in i'm adding the results we are getting from this models class name in sub ddl copy that one and paste here and i'm closing this for loop after the option tags and for that's it and now to display the records, we're doing curly brackets, result 
that we need to add our the property name which is column name copy that one and press here that's it we have done the complete coding part let's save the whole project save all after we now let's run the server control c python manage the py run server enter and notice here after we run the server we don't find any issues in our application and this is our web url we have already opened this is our application the default web application page is a index.html now we require the show because our URL is show. Enter. And here we got the output page. Notice the green, red, blue, and red. These are the four objects. Now let's insert. I'll go back. Now I want to insert green color. Click insert. Notice the selected color green is saved successfully. Now, if we check in our database, right now we have four objects. Now I'm reloading the browser. Here we got the fifth object. The fifth object is green, which we have just inserted. Green color. Now let's forward slash show. Enter. And here we got the and here we got the new latest color green was added successfully now i want to get the ids also in the same uh, select option for that i switch to show dot html page between double curly brackets here result dot id the id is the auto generate column so let's see now we'll get the id of this color names also now let's fill up the browser let's check so here we got the id is one two three four five and the color names green red blue red green that's it